you need something small, Allen key or something small enough to fit into and you can do the same on the other side. Make sure they're fully inserted and don't fall out. Now what you're going to do, you're going to lift the door. And as you lift, the door will come off. Hold it so it don't fall. And you're going to feel some resistance. But the door is literally, as you lift, it's coming out. All right guys, so you can see what we are doing. We're removing the door, it's a broken glass. And as you close the door, you basically lift it off. Now we're putting on the new door. You're gonna set it in and you'll feel like when it, when it sets in, you'll definitely feel it. And once you feel that it's in, then you can push down and remove the pins securing the hinge you you want to make sure that you get a good set meaning you want to make sure that the hinge is fully inserted before you actually close that door because if you do you're going to have problems it's going to be very difficult to get it in so just make sure that it's fully seated and that you're able to remove the pins now Make sure you remove and reinstall, but before you remove the door, remove the lower trim. It makes removing a lot easier and you don't scratch the door. So pretty straightforward. Uh, just be mindful with your door. If you slam it too hard or if you hit the stainless portion, that can shatter the glass. And this unit is almost impossible now to find parts for so be mindful of that and that covers that hopefully it helps thanks for watching